This is Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic. Here is day 30 of 100 Symptoms. Today we'll be hearing voices to conversation within the self. My knowledge about this topic arises from symptoms I experienced in the early onset of my psychosis. As a teenager around 16 and over several months, I developed the symptom of having disturbing conversations in my head. I would come home from high school and I would go into my backyard and pace back and forth. I felt like I was testing out hypothetical conversations. I would test out the statements of peers or teachers as well as field my responses and theirs. Eventually this experience was seamless. It was easy to imagine here the conversation as a strong subliminal automatic flow. At times of stressful and late night insomnia, sometimes the subliminal talk became actually auditory. Eventually the internal conversation would become less voluntary and more uncontrollable. For me, I wanted to hold many significant conversations, but I felt pressure as if I couldn't actually have them. So I started suppressing my thoughts and feelings when they would occur and I'd test the subject on my own. In the end, I often experienced a response to the situations I encountered, but I would be silent and the situations would become automatic. However, I would engage in a talking storm, as I once put in writing years ago, so I would understand my issues as resolving in some way. But when I didn't escape harmful situations or actually resolve conflicts, that meant I would suffer incredibly for a few years. I have sparingly mentioned in my other videos that I was the target as a teen of two sexual predators, and that situation came with a huge compounding of stress toward my eventual psychotic collapse. Suffice to say, for several years my social situation was a pressure boiler for stress. Eventually it popped into full-blown hallucination, delusional thinking, and disorganized behavior. In a very long-term trend, I've started to understand and actually share my emotional states and experiences with others I connect to. To start a real conversation is usually the hardest part, and after that it is easier to share. Real conversations have a different outcome than hypothetical ones. Sharing one's understanding with another has a profound ability to lessen the impacts of suffering. Thanks for watching. Ask any questions in the comments below. Please subscribe and share. Thank you. You're listening to Ned Ned Nerb, the Schizophrenic, with day 30 of 100 Symptoms. Bye.